right, YouTube, I got a nice video for y'all today. Today is a self-cut video. My first self-cut video I ever done. So excuse some of the camera angles. I didn't realize how hard it is to cut your own hair on camera. Uh, if y'all enjoyed this video today, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, comment. If you have any comments on how I can improve my videos or or anything you just want to see, put it in the comment section. All right, I start this video off with my number three guard on my Babylon Gold Pro FXs. I start with my crown area. I cut my crown area higher than what I cut. <coughs> Excuse me, higher than what I cut the rest of my hair because your crown is thinner than anywhere else on your head. Then I put my number two guard on my Babylon Gold Pro FXs. And I start from the outside of my crown. I work all the way to my hairline. Nice smooth strokes. And I like the way the Gold Pro FX is cut, but I think the wall magic clips have a little more power than what the uh, Babylon's Gold Pro FX's have. And they give it a little cleaner cut. I'm gonna have to change the blade on my Gold Pro FX's. I have that video coming later. Then I adjusted the two guard. I closed the lever a little bit when I cut my sides because my top is thicker. My sides are thinner than what the top is. So I'm going over it again because I figured I could knock it down a little bit more. And once again, excuse the camera angles. Now I start my taper with my uh, Slimline, Slimline Pros, and I don't put a curve in my taper today, I just went with a straight, flat line of demarcation, clean it up real nice, then I start with my GoPro FX, FX's all the way closed. And I scoop up in a C motion. I don't go too high up from the, from the start. I go up maybe maybe a quarter inch. And I brush that back down. You gotta you have to brush your hairs back in place because if you don't, the cut won't come out as clean. Now I open my GoPro FXs up all the way. And I, I hit at it again. I hit at that area right above where I hit, I hit with the uh, lever closed in a C-stroke motion. Now I put on my number one guard. All the way open. And I'm scooping out again. You can see the blend coming in already. Like I said, excuse the uh, camera angles. This is my first time. Then I come in with the number two. And y'all don't see me, but I'm combing my hair back in place in between every guard. And I'm scooping out the blend, my taping into the rest of my haircut. Then I close the lever halfway. You 
see stroke motion I'm scooping out again now I close it all the way I'm trying to get that line out yeah that line right there I'm trying to scoop it out I really hate cutting my own hair, but I never made a self-cut video before, so I said I'll do it. Then I put the 1.5 guard on, and I hold the lever all the way open. Scooping out just to get the blend, just to get the taper looking real, the transition in the taper make it look real smooth. I close the lever halfway. And I'm, it looks like I'm using the whole blade, but I'm only using the corner of the blade because by using the whole blade, that will leave a whole nother line in my hair. Then I close the lever all the way on my GoPro FXs. Once again, I'm only using the corner of the blade. I've been slacking on my brushing, but I bounce back. Now I put the number one guard back on and I call this the clean up work. I comb my hair back down and I just lightly pass over the area where I tried to make the taper just to clean up, catch any straggly hairs. And you won't be able to see because of my hand or maybe you will. I'm taking the one guard and I'm hitting around the corner of my line to knock the weight off of that, off of my hair, so the line will look a little crisper on the side. I do the same thing on the other side, so I'm gonna speed this up. Same process. And here I start on the taper in the back with my slimline pros. I make my line of demarcation all the way across. I take my Babyliss Gold Pro FXs and I open the lever all the way up. The process on my taper in the back is a little different than on the sides. And I start by scooping up, scooping in a C motion, C stroke motion. It's a little harder to do the tape on the back. Yeah, don't laugh at my pack of hot dogs back there. I'm working on it. <laughs> and here I close the lever halfway. Start working on that line at the bottom. Going against the grain, scooping up in C motion. Then I take my slim line pros, and as you know, whatever you put the line in with, you can take it out, use the same thing and take it out with. For some reason, the Babyliss GoPros, there's some good clippers, but they're not able to uh, take out the bottom line. That's why I'm gonna change the blade on my clippers. And I start under the line and work my way towards the line. <clears throat> Here I put the 1.5 guard on, all the way open, and I start scooping up.
and start working on the second line. And then I move it halfway. And, then, and you can see it taking the line out. You can see the blend coming in. You can see it. Then I close the level all the way. Then I put the half guard on, all the way open. And I start making at that line. And it looks like I'm using the whole blade, but I'm not. All in the corner. And now I put the number two guard on. start at the top of my tape and to blend my hair into the rest of my haircut. Now I put the number one in all the way because there's a line on my left side. I gotta get that out. So I work on that. Start making the line out. Now I have my number one guard on all the way open and I'm knocking down, I'm knocking off that weight on the edge of my lineup. I do that because it'll give me a crispier lineup instead of having all that overhang. Then I take my slimline pros and I start in the center of my head. And I work my way to one side. Just tapping at the edge of my lineup. I'm not digging. And then I work my way to the other side. I'm not digging into my, you don't have to dig into your line to make your line look real fresh. I don't know why some barbers do that. Well, some barbers do that because they feel it makes you come back faster, but I mean, I don't. A good lineup will last you two weeks without digging into it. using a corner on my blade and once you get into that corner it's good that you tilt the angle of your blade to make that corner real sharp and I'm only using uh, the clippers on my lineup I won't hit myself with the razor I won't use the razor on myself not today I do the same thing to the other side I'm working on the on that Chicago C. I'm not really digging into my lineup. And it's crispy without the razor. Here on the back of my neck. I'm 
just tapping it. I'm not really digging into to the, my line on the back of my neck either. When I looked at my overall haircut, I, I felt I could knock it down a little bit more, so I put the 1.5 on, and I knocked my hair down. It was a 2, but I knocked everything down to the 1.5, one and a half. And here's the cut. Let me know what y'all think. Give me a grade in the comments. A, B, C, D, F. Don't be scared. Let me know what y'all think. I give myself a C plus for cutting in the camera. If y'all think it's better or worse or y'all feel the same, let me know. Thanks for watching.